Of these days, we see there are a lot of hormonal issues which are coming yes, up, yes, much more. Yes. Is it, would you say, because the awareness is more or is it actually because of the lifestyle of today? What is it like? So How one you- good thing is that there's a lot of awareness, So right. which is great. Like um, when I started this uh, Women Wellness First, my first reservation was that will people come out and talk about this more openly because mm-hmm. you know fertility you know women health all this our taboo subjects yeah absolutely but i'm so surprised now people are talking about it so openly on instagram on you know social media channels as well they they don't fear anything and they don't have that stigma yeah. attached to it so that is great so a lot of people are talking a lot about it um and a lot of people are following these health coaches and getting information from there which is great like you know information is always helpful but obviously lifestyle has taken a toll our lifestyles are not like how they used to be few years back how our nannies and dadis used to eat or how our moms used to take care of them we are not taking care we have we have multiple roles nowadays we are going out working um and uh, socially also we are out there doing uh, you know yeah, much more absolutely. uh so the expectations from a woman are much much higher you know uh, we are putting out ourselves much more as right. compared to how it was earlier and the lifestyle is unfortunately not not right because and you know the what is happening is basically what i feel is that you know uh, most of the girls around 18 years of age they are moving out of their houses so for example if somebody is living in bhopal or right. indore and um, they've done their you know 12th and then usually their aim is to go to a college somewhere in bangalore or they'll move out or they'll go abroad and at this time they are not eating well either they're junking it out they don't know how to cook they're relying on maybe they're living in a pg or they're living in a hostel mm-hmm. food is really bad quality or they eat ordering from outside so they nutrient deficiency starts there so that is the place where you start becoming nutrient deficient so you become deficient in b the vitamin b's a's c's and all those things and then um after that you just get married and then you know you're working and everything and then suddenly after 5 years you like okay i want to get pregnant but that nutrient deficiency that was created back then is still there in your body sure. so so i think um taking that time out and fixing your diet and mm-hmm. uh, not and losing weight is a big thing i want to lose weight lose weight calories counting the calories avoiding the good fats avoiding the good foods yeah. um because they just want to lose the weight um that can put them into a lot of nutrient deficiencies and that can then take a toll on their health and then that is why we are having so many hormonal issues so obviously nutrient deficiency is first second is um the third second main issue is what we discussed that you know you are doing too many intense exercises at the wrong time or you you following these fad diets which are not applicable right. to you you know you picking few few and different different things and then trying that uh, and other than that i think it's um, also because um the sleep is major major one over here i'll just cover that a little bit more in detail yeah. because um when um when the uh, body is making 